Hello, my name is Emily Pache, and with Anaïs Mota, we are going to present Vario, a literature search engine to support the curation of genetic variants. This search engine is addressed to biocurators, molecular biologists, molecular pathologists, or any scientist interested in finding information about genetic variants in the literature. In precision medicine, oncologists must identify the genetic variant of a patient that are clinically actionable in order to select the appropriate treatment. Clinical practice guidelines recommend to evaluate each variant, but for each patient, there are thousands of variants to evaluate. Therefore, the work is usually performed by curators who will search in genetic variant database, as well as in the literature, to collect evidences. So how to find evidences about genomic variant? The curator can use knowledge base, such as COSMIC and CLINVAR, which are valuable source of information. The curator will find their high quality information, but the coverage is quite limited and information about rare variant might be missing. In such case, the curator will need to access the literature and it can be done by using standard search engine like PubMed and Europe PMC. But these uh, common search engines are not appropriate to search for genetic variant because genetic variant can be expressed in multiple form and so it's required to multiply the queries in order to gather an exhaustive set of documents about a given variant. A solution is then to use variant-specific search engines, such as Litvar and Vario. And in this video, I am going to present Vario and to show you the strengths of this system. So how Vario can help? First, Vario is focused on the recall. Our objective is to try to retrieve all possible relevant documents, and the recall is very important for hair variant, for which it is sometimes complicated to retrieve a single document. So to maximize the recall, the queries are automatically normalized and expanded. Second, Vium keeps the specificity of the user queries. It means that we will return only documents about the variant mentioned in the query and not aggregation based on dbSNP identifiers. However, if a user would like to search for an aggregation of variant, it is possible to do um, by using a dbSNP identifier. Third, Vium is able to search for several variants in a single query, which is uh, especially useful for polygenic diseases. And finally, uh, Vium is not only searching in the abstract and full text, as it is the case for most literature-based search engines, but it's also search in the supplementary material associated to publication, including searching in images. In this video, I will first present the architecture and evaluation of Vario. I will then present how to use this system, and I will finish with a short conclusion. The Vario system starts with a query. A query consists of a gene and a variant, and optionally a diagnosis or demographic information. The query is first normalized and expanded. The gene is normalized to a Uniprot gene identifier, and the variant is expanded using SINVA. SINVA is a tool developed by the SIP Text Mining Group and is freely accessible online. This tool processes variants at any level and expands it using all possible reference sequences. The expansion is based on AGVS format, but also a non-standard format based on a list of expressions usually found in the literature. It means that the user can start with a variant at protein, transcript, or genomic level, and SINVA will normalize it and expand it with synonym at all levels. Then the process query is used to retrieve documents in CBILS. CBILS is a backend search engine developed by the SIP Text Mining Group. Among the articles present in CBILS, there are four collections of interest for variant search. Medline with about 33 million of abstracts. PubMed Central with about 4 million of full text articles. Supplementary material with about 800,000 articles corresponding to about 4 million files, and it's mainly images and tables. And finally, we have about 300,000 clinical trials from clinicaltrials.gov. All these documents are processed and annotated with a list of terminologies such as drug bank, mesh, and uniprot. And finally, the retrieved documents are ranked in order to return the most relevant article first. The evaluation of Varium relies on several experiments, and in this video, I will present the main outcomes. More details about the evaluation can be found in these two articles.
First, we evaluated Varium as a literature triage system to support the curation of a variant. In other words, we wanted to evaluate the precision of the top-ranked document returned by Varium. The experiment is based on the benchmark provided by the Track Precision Medicine Competition. The results show that Varium retrieved about two-thirds of relevant documents in the top five. The next evaluation is a comparison of Varium with another similar tool, which is Litva. At the time of the evaluation, Litva 2 was not yet released, so the comparison is based on the first version of Litva. For the comparison, we used a dataset of 800 variants in BRCA1 and BRCA2. The results show that there are about half of the document in common between both systems. It also shows that Varium is missing 9% of document retrieved by Litva. We did a manual analysis of this document, and it showed that it is mostly false positive documents. In particular, uh, it is documents about not the variant of the queries, but another variant occurring at the same position. And the cause is the variant aggregation performed by Litva. In opposite, Varium is able to retrieve 41% of documents not retrieved by Litva, and the manual analysis show that it's mostly positive document. We also evaluated the impact of supplementary data on the reduction of silence. This evaluation is based on the same benchmark of 800 variants expanded with a random set of 1,000 variants from CleanVar. So on this benchmark, um, we got no result in Medline and PMC for 907 queries. And we wanted to know for how many of these queries do we get result in supplementary data? And the results show that it significantly reduced the number of silent queries. For more than half of the queries that were returning no result using only abstract and full text, the use of supplementary material enabled to find at least one match per query. The last evaluation is about the impact of supplementary material to increase the number of document retrieved. So the, this evaluation is based on the same benchmark as a pre previous experiment. And the results show that the recall is strongly increased. It more than doubled the number of document retrieved per query. Indeed, supplementary material enabled to find on average six documents per query, while, while abstract and full text returned only four documents. And moreover, there are less than one document retrieved in the supplementary material, um, which was already retrieved using uh, abstract and full text. Now I'm going to present the user interface. There is three ways to query Vario. The user can search literature for one variant or a combination of variants. The user can also search literature for a set of variants by uploading a file. Or the user can reload uh, results previously uh, written by Vario which enable to share a query with colleagues or to come back later to continue working on a query. For this demo, I will use the first query mode for a single variant. So in this mode, you can enter the genetic variation in the field and optionally uh, define some minimal patient information such as a diagnosis or uh, some advanced option, for instance, uh, to define a specific date range. The response time of Varium is quite slow. We just propose a link in order to come back later to see the results. The results are displayed by collection, and each collection is displayed in a different tab. In this case, we found one document in Medline, six documents in PubMed Central, no document in clinical trials, and 11 documents in the supplementary material. On the left, there are some options to customize the display, such as the selection of entities to highlight or facets to filter the results sets. For each document, a few passages containing the variants are displayed, and the full document is also accessible with highlighted uh, annotation. And finally, documents can be flagged by the user in order to export the set of documents considered as interesting by the user. The export can be done in CSV or in JSON. To conclude, Varium is an efficient tool to retrieve literature associated with variants. It retrieves about two-thirds of relevant documents in the top five. Varium has a very high recall compared to Litva. The use of supplementary material significantly reduces the silent queries, 
and especially the use of image, which is quite rare for literature search engine. It also enables to search for combination of variants. Viome keeps the specificity of the queries. We are not doing aggregation of variant. And as future work, we are uh, working to improve the response time. And we are also investigating the use of pre-trained language and uh, ensemble learning models. Varium, Sinvar, and Sibils are publicly available. You can find on this slide the links to these services. We also have two publications about Vario. You can find the references here. This project has been supported by the Swiss Personalized Health Network, Biomedit Infrastructure, Elixir Data Platform, and the Sineca project. I would like also to thank all the people who have contributed to the development of Vario, tested it, and given us suggestions and feedbacks. Thank you very much for watching this video.